The pandemic has affected nuclear medicine, the industry, as well as academic arena in a way that the patients have not been coming in to visit their physicians in order to get the testing done, the scanning done, which has delayed their treatment, which has caused other issues with the patient. And the other effect that it has caused was that there was a little bit of decrease in production of the nuclear medicine, reduced pharmaceuticals, um, which has affected the treatments as well as the research and other ways of handling nuclear medicine. So those are the major things that have affected. It did affect it a lot. In short, we could talk about so many different areas, oncology, myocardial perfusion, imaging, the way different um, procedures had to make some little changes in their protocols, especially ventilation, perfusion, imaging, in the early aspects of the pandemic. But from my own little experience, I think um, the effect of COVID-19 in the lungs has made me understand that ventilation perfusion SPECT CT should be the way to go for evaluating patients for pulmonary embolism. I think it affected it uh, as in the nuclear imaging, for example, in COVID uh, applications uh, and otherwise the, yeah, the research itself may be a little bit hampered because things closing down like animal labs or uh, also patient care. Well, it did affect us a lot, especially in terms of uh, radio pharmaceutical supply chain because we, were, we import the radio pharmaceuticals we use into country. And because of the pandemic, there was a lot of issues with flights coming in and all that. There were lots of flight cancellations. So you may schedule your patients, schedule everything, and then suddenly there's that flight cancellation. You are unable to do your scans at the time scheduled. You have to rebook patients. It, came with, it also came with extra cost because sometimes the radio pharmaceuticals come later than you expect them and you can't use them for the patients you had scheduled them for and all that. For a country like Ghana where patients have to be paying out of pocket for the services, it becomes extra difficult when you have all those delays in scheduling and they probably have to pay more or higher costs.